So we're really shooting a scene where we're conveying kind of the feeling of nostalgia, that really deep, warm feeling like we're reminiscing on a dream or a past great experience. So I want to convey that through my cinematography. And there's a few different ways that we're going to do that. We're going to utilize camera movements and then the details of, or the subject matter in which that we are shooting. So for this shot, I've got this like dream light concept in my head. I saw like this reference of light come through a stained glass. That's kind of where it all came of. And I just want like a, a big pool of bright light coming through the window or coming through the door and just like this godlike hot source coming through. So that's the motivation behind it. There's no action, there's no movement or whatever. I think I just might do a subtle camera movement of like the smoke of the haze kind of pushing through the air as the light's pounding through the door. Aperture just sent this out to me and this is brand new. And I can tell you I've been waiting for this for years. Bam, here it is my friends. It's a 1200X. So there's a reason I'm using such a fat light, and that's because it's bright daylight out right now. And, you know, with camera settings, I gotta expose down to the windows. So if I've got a dim light, the sky is gonna overpower the light all day long. So if you don't have big sources to work with, you've also got the option of just shooting at a different time of day. You can still get this look of a hard, warm light with like a 600 watt or 300 watt light fixture. You just will need to wait for it to be darker in the day, maybe at like sundown or something like that, so that you're light source can compete with the daylight, if that makes sense. You see what's new about that? Did you catch on? Did you catch it? So one thing I want to point out, guys, about the new 1200X is they've got a new Bowens mount system here. So other than traditional Bowens mount where you put it on, you got to finicate it, whatever. Now they've got, I think it's a, a, a Bowens Pro mount or whatever but it's just like a PL mount. You stick it on here, you turn it, and it's good. So I know there used to be talks about the 1200D being bright as an M18 or whatever, but it really wasn't. This one, the thing I'm most excited about is, because when I heard bicolor, I was like, it's not even gonna be as bright as the 1200D, it'll be nice, whatever. It's brighter than the 1200D, and it's a bicolor fixture with green magenta shift. So it's not just linear bicolor, you've got all the green magenta shift in there from down from like 2,500 Kelvin or 2,000 Kelvin up to 10,000 Kelvin, which is really nice. Damn, this thing's bright. I can actually feel the heat from it from right here. And we're what, eight feet? That's, that's real, that's the light, right? Oh yeah. LED's not cold anymore, ladies and gents. It's a warm light. All right, so we are lit. I've got a feeling that we're gonna do this all with one light, and this is the only light. Because we're just going for a lot of this shadow area, the silhouette area, so we're not gonna need other lights to fill in the shadows either. I want it to feel like this world is just driven off of the sun, the bright sun, and there to be nothing else. I might bring it warmer. Is it crazy of me to bring it to like 2700? What's realistic is probably like 38, 400, or 4000 Kelvin. I'm probably gonna bring it down to like 32 or 3000 Kelvin and just get this really warm look. And I've got the light right outside the door, so just really warm, really bright, hot coming through the window. So we're going for this dreamlike look, right? We want it to feel like it's, it's a good memory, it's something beautiful, it's a nostalgic kind of look back in the past. So one way to do that is by creating atmosphere, especially when you're using hard light. So this is the PMI Smoke Ninja, and this is just super portable, it's small, it's great for this. And what I'm aiming to do is create just this atmosphere that the hard light is cutting through. So you're almost just giving grit to the world. And a lot of the ways to make it feel like something is in the past is by adding a lot of atmosphere, like in the form of haze. There's just this heavenly sunlight coming in through the house, bouncing off of things and giving the look that I wanted. Giving myself an emotion, something that's really heartwarming and loving, it gives me like a, a full package in which to really fine tune the cinematography of it. All right guys, listen, I'm taking a lot of inspiration as well from this tea right here. And it's not just any ordinary tea, listen up here. This is my girlfriend's company, it's called Live for Earth. Her name is Liv. This is Pleasure Potion. It does what you think it does. It's an aphrodisiac. It's great for creativity and all of the other things. And she's got other herbal products as well, but I want to say they're 100% organic, all organic herbs. They're super delicious. You know, if, if you're anxious, go for some calming embrace. If you've got a bad little tummy, you go for some of this little belly balance here. So she's got a bunch of products here. I'm gonna leave a link down below. If you want to support her or me on this channel, I would love you forever because we're making tea and it's super fun and you know, that's all, so. All right, I'm gonna open the blinds up a little bit. Oh, there we go. 
Oh yeah. Oh, that's so freaking cool and fun. So this room, it looks so nice. There's sun, it's warm, it's that feeling that we want. We're gonna haze it up in a second, but since I'm gonna frame up this wall right here, this just doesn't match continuity. So I know I said I wasn't gonna run two lights, but I'm gonna run two lights. Alrighty. Alright, so one more warm light. Um, my goal for this is just to match up the color temperature of the 1200X with exactly that warmth. I think it's like 3000 Kelvin. That should do the trick right there. This is today's client. I've never been the client. She's the client. She's been working me all week long on her shoots for her products, which are Live for Earth herbal products. I'm butchering that, but this is Liv. Get to know her. She's super cool. I might get like shadowy things with you of like you pouring the tea, your hands holding the tea. Like you're not in it at all. It's just your, the shadows. So to add to this like nostalgia throwback dream like feeling, we're not just doing that with lighting. We're going to do it with our camera movements and camera as well. So camera wise, I'm going to set this to 60 frames. So I want to slow this down. I want this to be slow motion. So everything is just almost like a slow memory that's just documented in time. It's something that we're all looking back on, thinking back on, reminiscing on. And I'm going to go for like a little handheld sway as far as my camera movements go. By having it this handheld sway, it's kind of from the perspective of like a human POV instead of just on a camera or very uh, intentional, like a, a robotic move. With being handheld, it's just gonna feel like I'm reminiscing on the moment. And then focus-wise, I'm even gonna play around with it as well. I'm gonna fall in and out of focus. Cinematography, the goal is to tell the story. We wanna give this feeling to the viewer and make them watch it and not only just see it, but feel it in their bones. I want to focus a lot on the shadows because those I think tell a lot more of the story. So really focusing in on the fine details. One benefit of having bright lights as opposed to like smaller fixtures is that they throw further. So I've got this light way outside and we kind of moved into the kitchen because the light looks nice into the kitchen. So we're throwing it through the whole house and naturally like a, a weaker light or a smaller fixture wouldn't throw as far through an entire house. It has this more natural feeling because the light is far away and like how the sun is far away in the sky, it just feels a little bit more organic, like our shadows just feel a little bit more sunlight. Whoa, somebody get me a camera right now. Whoa. This shoot was overall just a fun exercise of, you know, stripping back everything else and just focusing on the creative and focusing on, hey, what can I do with this one? Light, sun, shadow, stuff like that. And just really tell a story differently rather than how I would tell it just to get a beautiful frame. Now I'm trying to incorporate a few more tools into the fact, and that's kind of what we did today. So if you liked this video, make sure to buy Liv's Tees. Don't subscribe or subscribe or do both. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video and I love you and goodbye.